Welcome to our channel www.news.co.id Hello guys, meet with me again in News NC channel. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create binding navigation using standard button. Okay, for tutorial fast, I will create new project. I choose Visual Basic and then with the some application like usually our create project now for the name is create binding navigation using standard button okay for example this is uh, our project guys I put on the desktop locations and then click OK here. We wait for uh, creating project. Okay, after project is created, we will design first in here. So uh, I need three text box and for label okay just created the text book one okay i will copy two three four i mean just three okay for more beautiful I will also need panel guys so uh, if we move we just can move all of uh, textbook item okay this is for three Okay, then I need four label here. Label, where is the label? Okay, one. And this is for copy paste here. Okay, this is label one. This is for ID, guys. So I, I just changed uh, the text in here. ID, this is for name. This is for birthday. Okay, or just like this birthday. Okay. Then I put here and here and the last year. Okay. like this and after creating item for text box label and panel I also need uh, five button for our standard navigation rather than using uh, navy or bidding navigator Okay, this is for example guys, so uh, I will change the text for this, this is for first record, okay, first, first, this is for preview, 
press view this is for next record this is for the last record I'm sorry last is like this okay and this is for close and you can also uh, adding panel for more beautiful like this i will set this with clean this is just for example guys and i will send to back here like this okay 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 more beautiful for this now uh, let's uh, change the name of every item here or I will also start position in center screen this is for text block one I will change the name to TID and second text box I will change to uh, TNIM and for the last is t birthday okay and for button one i will uh, change them to bt first okay and the second is bt preview or just prev and bt next and this is bt last here and this is bt close for the last button okay now uh, i'll forget to adding uh, once again for label guys this is for position record so i need uh, just for example i will put uh, in here okay here and this is name is LBL position okay this is for LBL position and then I will change the text to position position record you can also change to bold guys for uh, for more uh, clearly okay before we start the coding because we want to create a binding navigation or binding navigator using standard button we need to uh, creating database but in this tutorial i want to show how to create a database because i assume you okay i will show you this is i have a database called your database here and i have table one here okay in the table one i have three fields an id names and the last is birthday and the table one i have four record for ID names and birthday you can see here this is for record one until record four record one record two record three and the last record four okay we want we want to create a manual navigator or manual navigation for viewing and the next last first and preview for this record database I hope uh, or I assume you you have a database like this this is very very easy you can see in the previous my video in my channel for creating database in exam okay then we, we need to code first okay I'm sorry uh, I think the best uh, the best method is creating the data set first so we need to create add 
project component okay add component because we need to connect uh, to our database and for common item you can click data here and then choose data set let it by default data set, data set one dot xsg and add this okay you can see here guys this is use the data set designer to visually create and edit type data sets but uh, first we don't connect to any uh, data connection here or any server so we just to click the server explorer here and click on the data connection right click here and add new connection or add connection okay because uh, my server just using local house in my computer local so I just type like this for example local house because I want to connect this database using okay if you want to using IP like this you can also doing that okay this is my uh, local house IP or my loop tech IP for username of course bring by default is root and for the database name you can see here guys the database name is your database same with this okay you can see same with this and then I click OK okay this is I have connected uh, one server in the my local house then I want to show or adding the table one for uh, our this tutorial so I just drag table one and then put in the data, data set designer okay done for this before we need to code okay uh, data set is done so we back to form one design here and for ID name and birthday in the text box we just create a data binding show how to create data binding just click in the ID okay and then go to the data bindings here okay guys and then change the text okay after that uh, click on the other data source and the project data source and you can view the data set one because this is uh, related to id so i choose id in table one okay same with ID the name of course we just need to shed uh, because we just have in ID so this is uh, automatically created we just click the table one binding source and then names okay and the last is birthday okay before we need before we code I just uh, will show you if we created a uh, data bindings this will also uh, showing our record in database in record one okay before we created the navigation using standard button you can see this is the record one automatically viewing or appear here one sony and the 1993 you can see here and i will push again okay we need to code uh, the navigation or navigator using uh, the visual basic programming now I click the first button I double click I mean okay you can see because we just doing a data bindings this code automatically created so uh, don't confuse with this because this is load automatically 
and for td code i will create radian comment okay my comment for example my comment like this okay for uh, first i will create sub uh, record position positions okay this is i will call later and for unique i will create uh, or make the last is z z okay c i mean i'm sorry with me dot pending context dot me dot data set one you can see data data set one is related to our uh, project data set here okay so uh, after data set one we'll also show the table one because we track uh, just now okay and then lbl position dot text equal to the position plus one dot to stream and this is from record database the lbl position will show our position record uh, the current position record so this is just for a description or descriptor for our az where is uh, we are now in the record we just are using lbl position here okay for the second code i will coding the button first okay if i double click also uh, have the bt first click here even so in the bt first we need just to create me the table one table one table adapter I'm sorry I mean it's table one table one binding source you can see here for first is move first and then me dot binding context okay me dot data set one dot table one that position is equal to zero or the first record and then we call the record position here okay record position okay we need just to run first we just to show nothing error here you can see one from for record database okay okay i think this is just need one space the bt first is done also we just can also uh, call the record positions this is just positions I mean it's positions for you don't confuse I'm sorry and the uh, second button is preview okay table one binding source dot move previous me dot bindings contacts uh, dot me dot 
data set data set one dot position is decrement one you know decrement uh, you must reading uh, my previous video about basic invisible basic okay okay running again we just to preview nothing error here this is automatically load guys for preview nothing decrement because uh, we in the last record or the, the first record so for but next table one binding source dot move next and me dot binding source I'm sorry binding context I mean me dot data set one dot table one dot position is increment uh refers with this okay increment one and then call the record position also okay running again guys okay next okay finish this is for next button and preview and after in the four button we can just uh, make in the first record you can see it works and the last for navigator is for last button table one this is a little bit different guys dot move last for me the binding context equal to I'm sorry not echo the other set one I mean the table one this is the count minus one I'm sorry uh, this is the position I mean because this I think the script is longer so we we just can type underscore for enter guys okay this is for next script equal to me the binding context data set one the table one the count dot minus one okay and then we call again record position here okay because the me dot data set one the table one port position equal to uh, counting all record and minus one uh, we we have in the last uh, record okay and the close button is just me dot close okay running the project okay this is first preview nothing function because uh, we in the first record if click next okay we can click preview here next preview and if in the last we can go to first if in the first we can go to last you can see preview oh, I'm sorry next preview last first last first preview next preview and the last is close button okay uh, I think it's enough for our tutorial create bidding navigator or bidding navigation using standard button in the next project we want to 
adding uh, record delete record or update record using standard button just like this uh, so uh, we need to continue this project for completely and I want also uh, show record in the data grid view so don't forget to subscribe uh, our, our channel for another uh, tutorial to complete this project thanks for watching and bye bye